So those of you that would have watched my last video had seen that I had taken the gearbox out of my Subaru. And this is the gear linkage. Now I was looking around it and I was looking at this bush here which goes on the back. Let me get that off of there. You can see there's quite a lot of play in there. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. And as you can see on there, it is very cracked on the bush. And then I was also looking at this bush on here. And as you can see... There's a little bit of play in it, not a massive amount. So I was seeing what I could do to improve that and I found this white line kit. So in this video, we are going to fit this white line kit to my gear linkage and then put it back on the Subaru. So in the kit, you get this solid bush here, which replaces this one. And like I said, this one's definitely seen better days. And two new bolts to bolt it to the car. And then you get a replacement bush, which is these for this one. So I think the next job is to take this bush out and replace it with these. Now the kit does come with these instructions. And it does say the best way to get this bush out is with a flat bladed screwdriver. So let's give that a go and try and get that out. come in there we go that wasn't too hard was it so the kit comes with this high performance bush bushing lubricant so we'll add that onto the bushes now as you can see i've changed my gloves for this i don't want to get it all over my hands so i guess we just put some around the bushes before we put them in i think it's supposed to stop them squeaking or something so we'll push that one in there. There we go. I'll wipe the excess off in a minute. I'll do the other one. And I guess I'll put some in the middle as well when I put the metal sleeve in. There we go, push that in there. There we go. And then I'll pop some in the middle. And then push that in there like a glove. There we go. All done. Four to six weeks later. So as you can see, I've just got the gearbox back from being rebuilt. So I'll show you how the gear linkage fits onto the gearbox while it's out of the car. It's probably easiest. So to install the gear linkage onto the gearbox, nice and easy. It's just basically two bolts. So. We'll push that one, this is the bush we've just changed. We'll push that in there, like that. And then we'll push this top selector one into there, like that. Now there's a bolt which goes through there. There we go. Get that all the way through so it comes all the way. There we go. And then there's a nut which holds the bolt in. So let's drop that in there. I won't do it all tightly because I'll take it off anyway to get it in the car. So the bottom one, there we go, it's got that lined up. So this wire is for the reverse. So I've already put the bolt through this bracket. Now that sits through there. And on the other side there is a captive nut, which holds that bolt in. So we've got that lined up, there we go. And there's a little cut out there for this bracket to sit in. Now this cable here goes onto this, which is the reverse. So we pull that back, we we'll slot that on there. And to hold that on, there is an R-clip here. So the R-clip goes through that post. Now if you see, if I do the gear selector as I lift it up you can see it moves this which will allow you to select reverse now obviously this is a lot easier to do while the gearbox is out of the car so as I install it on the car I will also show you how it's done so as you can see the gearbox is all in and I've had to lower the gearbox slightly to get the gear linkage on to get the bolts through and there you go as I showed you earlier in the video they're all bolted up there on the reverse cable so the next job is the shifter block which goes on the end of the shifter there so there's the shifter block installed now one thing I didn't mention was there is no prop shaft on the car either so you were left to take the prop shaft out to get to all of this gear linkage so to remove the prop shaft it is super easy there's the center bearing there 
you undo these two bolts here and then there's four bolts on the back that bolt it to the diff and then it just pulls out of the gearbox. So we are in the car, as you can see, it's the gear stick. I've pulled this rubber gasket through there and then over that sits this metal bracket here. So once you've done the four bolts up that holds this bracket down, that obviously gives you a weatherproof seal then, stop water getting inside the car. It's just need to put the interior trim on. And it literally all just slots in. There's no screws or anything. It all just clips together. So that will clip in on that, like that. And then this one just clips in like that. And then all that's left is to screw the gear knob on and take it for a test drive, obviously. So I've been driving the car a few minutes now. We have these new gear linkage bushes. The gear shifts are nice and positive. There's no slop in it at all. They're nice and stiff. Precise. This is first gear. No, way, no judder. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. So we get down the gears. Fifth. So as you can see, we're back from the test drive, and as you saw on the test drive, the gear changes were absolutely perfect and precise with the white line gear linkage bushes. They felt perfect and smooth, they're quite stiff as well, which is what I like. So that'd be perfect for when I do the track days. Thank you very much for watching.